All right, everyone, the SPLC has decided to go after Gab.com again, formerly Gab.ai. That, By the way, that transition, not exactly the smoothest thing. Some people didn't know how to get onto the website because, of course, the old domain was different. Um, the SPLC uh, apparently conflating registered and active users and lying about uh, Gab's SEC filings is the result. And then their their actual filer, their their people there, their host or whatever, actually came out to defend them. The SPLC had said that this other group had basically said, well, you know, Gab's lying about this, and then they reiterated, no, that's not what we said, to the SPLC. So the SPLC does this often, um, defaming people. This happens quite regularly. They've been sued for it. They're being sued as we speak, I believe, by Gavin, aren't they? <laughs> they call him the leader of a hate group. Well, he's not the leader of any group at this point, and it's not a re uh, recognized hate group among any law enforcement. It's a fairly cut and dry fucking case. They've got a, what is it, the Defend Gavin site that officially I can't tell you to donate on, by the way. Probably get deplatformed because I'm a bigotry or you're, you're aiding bigoted people or, you know, some stupid workaround shit would be used by Twitter to ban those that post it. And Patreon. And all the others. But at this point, it's like integrated web, therefore integrated bans, which I think is crazy. Gab, by the way, has a workaround for that, which is they're developing a system. It's a very novel idea. I hope it takes off, and I think it has a good chance of doing so. They're trying to build a system where if you have a Gab account, you can comment on anything on the Internet. Like like a lot of times, and this is why the SPLC hates them, because they're innovating. <laughs> They've got a good idea that could make them a billion-dollar company, in other words. The SPLC is looking at this and freaking out, shitting themselves. What Gab would do if this happens is it would make Gab basically indispensable for anyone that wants to speak on things that otherwise you wouldn't be able to speak on, which often are on the left, right? Like, if you go to YouTube, you know, you go to 4chan, there's like, oh, trending political video or something here. Oh, come see this derpy shit. They typically, they close comments and ratings down because they get pounded. It's not because of malevolence. It's because their, their video is shitty or something. Music videos have had this problem. Uh, certainly socio-political commentary from the far, far left perspective. It gets dogpiled because it's clearly wrong. And they can't take criticism because they don't like to debate and they would lose if they did number two. So what they do is they close down the ability of people to have that debate on that content. What this would do is it would integrate into that page as long as you've got the app, uh, the browser extension or the phone app or whatever, you know, probably both that it would be, you'd be able to comment using your Gab account. Ah, well that gives it one up on Twitter now, doesn't it? Twitter's already in decline. Where do you think people are going to go? Oh, well, this is basically Twitter, but it also, it, it, I can comment on anything I want. And I don't have to worry about censorship. I can say whatever I want. Not that you won't get banned. Some sites will ban you for saying things that aren't even on their site, so that could be a problem. But, I mean, on Gab, you could, I guess, have anonymity of a sort. Just use a different username or something, I suppose. But uh, I think it's a good idea, and that's really why they're at the forefront of being targeted. targeted. They're over the target. They're taking the most flack. And soon BitChute will end up joining them in being dogpiled by the SPLC and similar groups. I assure you, because they're working on PayShoot, among other things. They're integrating things, too. They're trying to create their own payment system, something more stable. Mines has been branching out. I can, you know, eventually they'll come under fire. The problem is that 90% of Soccer Mom America just reads the BuzzFeed article, takes whatever they see seriously. So when they look at alt tech, they're seeing the BuzzFeed hit piece, the SPLC release, the Huffington Post write-up. The, the ten part Vox series about how alt tech means alt right technology, which it doesn't. About how these sites are just nothing but Nazis, which is not true. Now, again, I'm the bit, I'm the top bit shoot user. I'm a libertarian. I'm one of the larger users on Gab. I got over twenty thousand people following me there. Supposedly, Gab only has like ten active users or something, and they're all Nazis. Well, that's not actually the case. But if you've never used the site and BuzzFeed tells you that's the case, and you take them seriously. Yeah, you're prob probably going to believe them. You're like, oh, Nazis, I don't want to be around them, so I'm not even going to go and test the site out. And it's really a bunch of hit pieces engineered by Silicon Valley. Really, this was engineered by people who have their... They have one foot in Silicon Valley tech and one foot in craptivism. That special missing link group of people is responsible for most of what you see. They get money on both ends. They need there to be hate online, otherwise groups like the SPLC... Look, Again, there aren't, there aren't groups of Klansmen wandering down the street anymore. There aren't that many actual skinheads. There aren't that many Black Panthers chanting uh, about killing people for, for some racial purpose. There aren't many groups like that, and they're not that prevalent. So they have to fixate on edgy jokes online and create the myth that there's some massive uh, social unrest there, some massive, chaotic, potentially violent movement that must be stopped. 
And alt tech is causing it, and Silicon Valley needs to censor more and give us, by the way, fact checking abilities, says the SPLC. Ah, oh, so you're getting something from it. See, always look at who benefits. Yeah, of course they benefit in a monetary and an empowerment sense. They're, they're guaranteed all that Silicon Valley cash. And it's basically a shakedown. What they've done is con Silicon Valley. They're like, well, you either give us a bunch of money or we're going to defame you over and over and we're going to get Congress you know, to try to censor you and people mad at you and we'll ruin your brand and then you'll get replaced. And so Google and Facebook and Twitter and all these groups that could pool together and utterly crush these groups, instead they backed down and they got cowardly. I'm still not 100% sure why. Some happy congressman must have visited them at some point with a few interesting pieces of paper. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, Project Echelon, they've got some dirt on these people too. Why do you think that Bezos' uh, dick pics are in the news right now? Poor Bezos. I actually feel sorry for him. I actually don't mind Amazon because, you know, I make a lot of money through Amazon. So, yeah, I, I don't really care if Bezos' uh, penis pics were to come out. It's like it's not going to shock me. I use 4chan, so fuck off. Uh, as for the SPLC, though, uh, a group, that maybe 20 years ago was highly relevant. There was a reason for them. You know, they had the hate watch map and everything. Early wave internet, they had already developed that. Something that was more prevalent. Now all they do all day is ramble about, oh, the MAGA hat wearers, oh, the secret racists, number one. Like, if you're a Trump fan, populism evil, open borders great. And if you don't agree, you're like, you're a Nazi or something. And then number two, haranguing about alt tech and doing it in order to make money, they're probably, uh, what do you want to believe the arrangement is? Silicon Valley gives them money basically not to attack Silicon Valley. And then they say, hey, you give us a little more and we'll kneecap your competitors for you. What do you want to bet that that's probably an arrangement that's in play? Well, it would explain why they constantly defame these sites openly, why they're willing to risk the possibility of a lawsuit to make patently false statements about people like Gavin, or like that Islamic uh, uh, teacher, actually, there, who stands against Islamophobia, and they called him an Islamophobe, which was, like, the most surreal thing. They had to sell out of court, give him millions of dollars. What do you think they're going to have to do with everyone else that's going to take up a suit against them? Where do you think they get the money? Uh, they're, not, they're not getting the money from, from little old lady who wants to stop the Ku Klux Klan. They're getting it from a bunch of craptivists and from politicians. That's about all. Peace out.